Hello and good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Another round of strong, maybe severe storms for portions of our area as we head into the night on this Tuesday evening. Your forecast update begins right now. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbons Sons want to let you know that if you allow them to install the best equipment out there, Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems, it comes with a guaranteed warranty. Ten year on parts, three years on labor. Give Robert Gibbons Sons a call today. Please let them know that Hutch sent you. Let's talk with your hour by hour future radar forecast. Scattered showers as we start the day along the northern counties, most likely. A few isolated showers and storms down to the south. They could be stout with some hail potential and some locally gusty winds, but the risk of severe is not high as we go into your morning hours. Now notice, we'll get just a little bit of a break, but it stays cloudy and it will be a cooler day with northwest winds developing. It's going to be hot in South Dakota and southern Minnesota as this cold front works its way right here. You can kind of see it stalling out in this general area. And then as we head into the afternoon where temperatures rise right on the boundary with that cooler pool, we'll be seeing today more thunderstorms form in the afternoon. Strong to severe, from southeast North Dakota, eastern South Dakota into central and southern Minnesota as we go through. Pretty quiet with regards to that severe weather risk up to the north as we head into the evening hours. South Dakota could see some very windy and strong to severe thunderstorms punching their way through. Those will continue as we go into our Wednesday morning. We'll have scattered showers along our southern tier of counties throughout the day on Wednesday, adding to those rainfall totals. Speaking of which, let's take a quick peek at how much potential we have for rainfall as we go into the night and into the night for tonight. So here we go. This is a look at the forecast rainfall amounts on top of what we got today. Notice the best chance will be in South Dakota on the eastern side, South Southeast North Dakota and much of Minnesota having a chance at picking up substantial rainfall in the central part of the state, a half of an inch to an inch locally more, but lower amounts where we really could use some moisture up in northern Minnesota. All right, for the rest of the day, temperatures will climb from values that are now mild down to the south and cloudy and showery to cooler up to the north. Those northerly winds in the northern counties, as you see illustrated in blue, will usher in some cool air all day long, only low to mid-60s there for the afternoon. 76 Fargo, warmer still to near 90 in southern parts of Minnesota and South Dakota, and that's what will fuel and drive the energy in the atmosphere to produce those strong to severe storms. Our quiet and cool weather lasts through Thursday before we start warming things back up into the weekend. It does look drier for Thursday and most of Friday until our thunderstorm chances spotty in nature return as we head into your weekend. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson thanking you for being a part of Hutch's Weather. Hutch'sWeather.com anytime, anywhere, a great place for you to get the latest in your weather information. And I do want to point out here at the bottom of the page, you can also get your local National Weather Service forecast information at the bottom. And Dunn Blazers Printing. You know what? My friends over at Dunn Blazers offer service to a, the tri-state region and they not only do interior but external exterior painting as well. So if you have a project, give them a call, thank them for sponsoring Hutch, and then let them know that Hutch sent you and they'll get you that Hutch's discount. So give them a call today and thanks so very much. For now, pay attention to that weather tonight, particularly in South Dakota, the Southern Valley, and portions of Central Minnesota as storms that form could be strong to severe. Thanks for all of your follows on my Facebook page and subscriptions on my YouTube channel.